This is Joe's Sporting Goods. I created this because I, as I collected the Lego City Block buildings over the years, I realized that as they had enough buildings put together that you could start forming a complete block, there was no way to access the inside of the block. That's uh, one, four corners and two buildings on each side between the corners. So I created an alleyway with building on top. As you can see, it's got, it's got a nice alleyway in here and two access doors of stairways going to the upper floors. And of course, a sailor at the bus stop. This building has nearly 4,000 blocks, uh, 3,950 some. It's fairly detailed. It also includes uh, two dumpsters for the back. And of course, like a regular uh, Lego city block building, the roof comes apart, or the building comes apart, the roof comes off, the fourth floor apartment comes off, the third floor apartment comes off, and the second floor sporting goods store comes off. The first floor, again, has the uh, two stairways with access to the upper floors, as well as the sailor sitting at the bus stop, and of course the alleyway with uh, numerous trash cans, and the lamp post. And in the back, there's a back door to the, to the store, again with trash cans and dumpsters. And under the stairway to the apartments is a little workshop for the uh, building maintenance guy. And it's got a, a sink and workbench and lockers and all kinds of neat stuff in there. The uh, alleyway was built to access, uh, again, the inside interior of the block. And it is large enough to take on the... Lego 4432 garbage truck with plenty of room to spare. Again, the side of the uh, beside the alleys are two stairways to access the upper floors, and the hallways in the, in the bottom are fully tiled. The second floor has a sporting goods store in it. Again, this is Joe's Sporting Goods and the windows all have various uh, George, the uh, sign for Joe's Sporting Goods as well as uh, graphics for archery and shooting, cycling, and surfing. And of course the interior of the store is fully set up he has a good stock with uh, gun racks and a rack of surfboards, bicycles, parts, and archery, and even a few dart boards here or there. And of course the uh, stairway to the upper floors is all fully tiled. And of course you can also see that there's the uh, scuba, scuba diving equipment uh, and on the back, you have a fire escape, which includes the ladder that is extended to allow the person to actually go down and get off, get off of the fire escape. The third floor apartment, again, has a stairway on one side giving access to the floor above. It's fully tiled. There is a sitting room slash kitchen, which has a refrigerator and counters and little cook stove cabinets. 
of course, a cat. There are nine figures included with this. And there's also a small bathroom and a bedroom with bed and flowers and a dresser. And on the back of this is a little balcony which, atta which uh, attaches to the uh, fire escape. And you see it's got a nice little cooker and table. The fourth floor apartment is kind of a little efficiency thing. Its uh, upper passageway is, has no tile. It's got a nice little sitting room, a bedroom, and a bathroom. And the fellow in here has a pet turtle. And when you put the roof on, the building is complete. The fourth floor doesn't really attach to the fire escape. However, there is a trap door so the occupant can get up to the roof. And then the ladder attaches to a hook right here so it can go down to the fire escape. All in all, it's a very fun project. And with all the buildings that the LEGO has produced, I now have 12 city block buildings, which makes a complete block. Again, four corners and two buildings on each side between the corners.